Huh? You good? Ten seconds. Father, we thank you. Father, we praise you. you could you turn the uh, keyboard up just a little bit? Father, we exalt you. You are the rock of our foundation. You are the lily of the valley. You are the bright and morning star. Lord, I pray that you will start something in this place today. Start something in our lives so that we can see you for who you are. We ask God today, dear God, that you would you stretch out in this sanctuary amongst your people. God, we pray that you would stretch out in this community. Lord, we pray that you would stretch out in this nation and God and keep stretching until you reach everybody we thank you we worship you today God we realize that Lord that there's nobody like you in all the land you, you are Alpha and Omega you are the beginning and the end you are the source of our strength you are the lily of the valley. You are the bright and morning star. We thank you and we worship you just the way you are today. We honor you today. We thank you. We thank you, God, because you are God of comfort. We pray right now that, God, that you will comfort the bereaved family throughout all the land. That you will comfort my godmother, Mama Lawrence. As we have now lost my God sister Sonia Lawrence, the God that you will cover her, cover her mother's heart, cover her mind, reach down and massage her spirit, letting her know that everything is going to be all right. Remove the stress and the pain from losing a loved one. God, that when you do it for her, God, don't forget about those that lost loved ones this week too also. Somebody's grieving and don't understand why. But God, you control everything. You know our ending and our beginning. That's a secret we know not of. So we praise you today. We magnify you today. We lift you up, oh God, for your gratefulness towards your people. Just want to tell you thank you. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Because God, we could have been dead and gone in our sleep on last night, but you saw fit to keep us. And today we're going to praise your name. We're going to lift you on high because you alone are worthy. And we thank you. We thank you for blessed be the rock. Oh God, my salvation. We thank you. If I had 10,000 tongues, God, it still wouldn't be enough. It still wouldn't be enough, God. But I lift you up as we lift you up. The great I am. Somebody say, the great I am. We bless you for blessing us. We thank you for being our rock in a bad place. We thank you for helping us when it would have been more easier to give up. We thank you for just being God. Some may act the question do you love the Lord and I will reply Lord what kind of
kind of question is that? How can you not love someone that woke you up this morning? How can you not love someone, hallelujah, that put food on your table? How can you not love someone that loves you more than anything? How can you not love someone that will be in your presence in an instant? God, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you for such a beautiful day as this. Hallelujah. May have a chance of rain in the sky, but God, it's still a beautiful day. Yes, Lord. The wind made a blew down some trees and knocked over some leaves and caused to tornadoes and hurricanes are happening but God you are still God as we pray for those that lost their homes and some that lost their lives God I'm asking that God that you will have your way again Lord cover the bereaved family Let your will be known in their lives. Let it be known that the enemies of God will not get the victory out of any tragedy that we may encounter. We worship you, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are holy. We worship you, Lord. We, we worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Mighty are the works of your hands, O oh God. There is none like you, Lord. We tell you thank you. And we worship you. For today I still have a praise. You are mine. Today I can still say you are a way maker, a promise keeper. And we worship you. We worship you. We worship you, oh Lord, we worship you. Yes, Lord. Come on, if I can get some of y'all to put your hands together and give God praise. Hallelujah. Lord, I want to thank you for the strength that you have given Deacon Davis. Thank you for the strength that you have given Pastor Terry, her husband, Jesse Edward. I want to thank you for the strength that you have given my mother. Thank you for the strength that you have given the Emory family. Thank you for the strength that you have given your people. Thank you for the strength and the healing power that you have bestowed upon Minister Harris. God, look over him today. God, look over him today. Somebody say, look over. thank you for my ups and I want to thank you for my downs because God I know that you still got me covered somebody say yes, cover Lord. Yes, Lord. Covered. I want to thank you because in spite of everything else God you have given me joy 
you have given me joy. Yes, Lord. Somebody say joy. Joy. Unspeakable joy. You're an amazing God. You're an amazing God. Because somebody I love dodged a bullet last night. You're an amazing God. Because somebody I love, God, you got to say to yourself, somebody I love could have been dead and gone, but God, you are an amazing God. We thank you for every door that has been open in our lives. We thank you for every prayer being answered. We thank you for meeting our prayer requests. We thank you, Lord, because you look way down deep past our mess and you blessed us today. And we thank you, Lord. Somebody say, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So, Father, you've been so good to us. And that's the main reason why we praise you. Because even when I was stuck in a ruck, you reached down and you grabbed me and you saved me and you delivered me and carried me out of all my fears you have given me strength in broken places you have given me peace when my soul desired it and I tell you thank you thank you thank you Hallelujah. Somebody give God praise and let the church say amen. amen. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you.
worship you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship. 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 We worship
while we were singing that. And I'm going to read something from the 91st Psalms. The 91st Psalms. Verse 1. Real softly if you can. If you can. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This psalm talks about his dwelling place. Five things in which to trust. Trust in the Lord. This psalm is right here has been emphasized and supposed to have been written by Moses during their 40 year journey in the wilderness. Let me read verse 1. It said, He that, and that first part, Psalms 91 and 1, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall what abide under the shadows of the almighty let me emphasize something on that right there I want to say something to you right there the first word first two words starts off he that what is he saying he's saying that to individuals individual he's talking to you dwell it when we look at let's go back when we look at the word he that in the 91st psalm was written to comfort the church in the wilderness while, while going through the 40 year course and to assure children the children of God in all ages of his, his providence in their earthly pilgrimage if Moses wrote 91 then all the scriptures quoted in our Lord's uh, temptation even those quotes by Satan were from the right rental words of Moses. The next one dwelleth in dwelleth in the and those first those three words right to dwelleth in the simply denotes to sit down, to dwell in, to remain, to settle in the sense of taking up a homestead or staking out a claim or res uh, resisting all claims jumpers to possess a place and to live the well so I don't know about you but I need to set my position down and settle under the shadows of the almighty shall abide under when we look at the word to abide under it's a covering. Somebody say covering. It's a covering. And when you think about the covering in the secret place of the Most High, when you think about that covering right there, it is also a hiding place. And then we will go to the next one. When we read that, hallelujah. Thank you. This talks about the shadows of the Almighty. I'm just breaking this down for you so we can get a deeper understanding of it. Amen. He said, This explains the secret place of the Most High under the shadow, def defines protection of the Almighty One. Will you will be safe? I don't know about you, but as long as I'm under the wings of the Almighty God, I know everything is going to be all right. Hallelujah. Because I know some of us, we can go through some things in our life, but in spite of all of that, hallelujah, we have to stand up and say, I still got joy. Amen. I still got joy. Hallelujah. Verse 2 says, I will say of, to, of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he should deliver thee from the snares of the fowls and from the no sons, noisome pastelites. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under the wings shall thou trust, trust. His truth shall be thou shield and buckler. So if you trust in the Lord, I don't care how high you got you going, he got you buckled in. He got you covered. Hallelujah. You ever been on a roller coaster and you felt like 
If you if it weren't for that belt, that thing coming over you right there, you'd be lost. Amen. You have been a lost your mind. Because when that thing takes off, you go to streaming. Hallelujah. I, 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 I don't mind a roller coaster, but I ain't finna get on that bungee cord. Amen. That slingshot, whatever they got out there. Amen. Three. His God's fivefold confidence. Surely he shall deliver thee from thou snares of the fowls, fowlers, and from the nuisance pestilence. No, no, noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his fathers. And I, I just read that. I'm sorry. I'm going way ahead of myself. I'm going backwards. Let's give God praise. Verse 5 Thou shalt not be afraid. Thou shalt not be afraid for thy terror by night, nor by the arrows that fly by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in the darkness, nor for destruction that waiteth at noonday. Somebody give God praise. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand shall, shall thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh unto thee. Somebody say, it ain't going to get close to me. Uh, you you, you got to do like MC Hammer. You can't touch this. Somebody say, you can't touch this. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And they say, only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the renewed re reward of the wicked. Hallelujah. So all you got to do is just sit back. And whoever do you wrong, God going to take care of you through all of that. Amen. Come on, let's give God a praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say, good things come from God. Hallelujah. How many of y'all waiting on God to do something for you today? Lift those hands. Lift those hands. You waiting on God to do something for you. Do you want something to happen? Do you, do, are you, did you come with expectations? That's what I want to know. Do you got any expectations? Some of y'all ain't got, because I don't hear you making no noise today. Come on, make some noise in this place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God has just been so good. I had a wonderful time on yesterday. My body is tired, but my mind ain't. I'm ready to, I'm ready to run on and see what the end's going to be like. Amen. Hallelujah. Had a great time. Me and my wife, we renewed our vows after 30 years. Somebody say 30 years. One guy looked at me and said, what, you got married at five? Because I thought you was about 35. I'm like, thanks, man. Good Lord. <laughs> I said, no, I'm 51 years old. Hallelujah. And I thank God for saying 51 years. Hallelujah. And I couldn't wait to get beyond the day. Had you ever, had you ever got so anxious that you was waiting, you was wishing that the day had already passed? You ever, you ever, you ever like, that's what, I, I, I wish that I was already through that day. And it was so beautiful. My wife, she's very creative. And everything, everything has to flow her way. But I surprised her. I surprised her. She didn't think a lot of things. She didn't think I was going to. She didn't think I had all, all of what I had in me, in me. But somebody said, I, sur I surprised her. Hallelujah. I surprised her. And we had a wonderful time, beautiful cake. We, uh, great food. And. God really does some great things. We had a boat ride on Saturday. Amen. And we had food on that. I mean, it just this was beautiful. It was real hot on Saturday. It was so hot on Saturday. Good Lord. You could have took a chicken up on top deck and cooked something. Amen. You didn't need no fire from a grill. You just needed to just cook a chicken. Amen. Lay it out on the floor and it would have cooked. Amen. But I thank God for the heat anyway. Hallelujah. Because if it had been cold, I'd have been complaining about being cold. <laughs> but God, amen. Hallelujah. I'm just so excited, amen. And 
Well, when we got to the room, I was thinking I was going to get up about 7 and come on down to the church. But come to find out, my wife had a hair appointment at 6 o'clock in the morning. And I said, there go my sleep. So we had to get up earlier. And so, matter of fact, she woke up late. She had the hair appointment, but I had to go with her anyway. And I woke up I'm like, man, it's 501. You know, but I knew it only took us about 45 minutes to get from there to where she had to go. Amen. And God has just been so good. Amen. And when we woke up, when we woke up that morning, because we had the beach house, we had the lake house, not the beach house, the lake house. And there was a huge tree branch that fell down during the night. Was any of y'all woke, any of y'all that came out, was any of y'all woke when it was thundering and lightning out there? Because that must have been a tornado come through there to tear down that branch. I mean, it, I mean, it really did. I mean, that branch, if it would have hit something, it would have, it would have really done some damage on something. Amen. But I slept real good through all of that. Anybody sleep good through storms? I didn't even know it rained until I woke up and looked outside and like, good Lord. When I saw it, I started thinking about my pool. I was hoping my pool didn't get over full. Amen. Hallelujah. But anyways, God is just so good. Amen. My grandmother, she came. It was just amazing to see my grandmother. My mother, she came. And I believe my sister had to leave a little early, so I didn't get to dance with her, but I danced with my oldest daughter. And know your kids can dance better than you so I, I tried to dance with my oldest daughter and I'm like I was like I, I'm like good lord I'm like spin around twice spin around twice I was telling her spin around <laughs> amen so but hands on I can move a little bit. I'm not, you know, I, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't going to go dancing. We don't do dancing that much. But I surprised my wife because she thought I was just going to be pastor and just sit there and just be like too deep to move. Amen. But if you love the Lord, you can't be that deep to move. Amen. Because God expect for you to enjoy yourself. Amen. Hallelujah. So I'm all over my wife looking at her. She looked so beautiful coming down that aisle. Jesus. Hallelujah. But I was looking at my watch when she started walking. I'm like, Jesus. We That dress had a train behind her dress. That I mean, that was a huge dress, amen. It said weighed about 100 pounds, amen. And she was walking really, really, really slow with it. And because you can barely move in it. And it was a beautiful dress. When you see the dress, y'all, that dress was beautiful. Amen. And I couldn't spin her. I wanted to spin her around, hold her down like that, you know, and be real intimate with her like that. Uh, but because of her dress, she couldn't do all those things that I want to do. Uh, I want to dance with her. Amen. Um, but our song, the song that we uh, uh, we love by the Floaters, uh, Always and Forever, that's the song that uh, we've been using. That's, the, that's our song since our very first marriage. Amen. And God really did. I mean, I, 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 it's just amazing uh, how things, it's turned out. Y'all enjoyed yourself, y'all of you that was there. Yes, Hallelujah. I know some of them, they probably stayed up later, amen. And and we just enjoyed some of some of them was probably they were saying, we're gonna have church on Sunday. I said, Yeah, we're gonna have church on Sunday. Yeah, I'll be there. If the Lord wake me up tomorrow morning, I'm gonna be there, amen. Hallelujah. God's will. Now, come on, let's give God praise. Let's go on here and get back into worship. Hallelujah. But all of that, all of that triumphs, all of the pain that we recently went through. And Pastor Charles, your witness too, to be able to see Deacon Davis up there walking, 
walking, moving around, and knowing what he just been through, somebody say it was a miracle. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody standing to their feet. Amen. We're going to read the scripture for this morning. If you could put that up there, Charles. If you could read it from where you are back there, if you have it. Amen. Then after the scripture, we're going to raise our offering. Hallelujah. Repeat after me, everybody, if you would, please. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, That whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he says. He shall have whatsoever he says. So whatever thing you expecting God to do in your life on today, you got to believe it for yourself, those things, and confess it with your mouth that God is able to do it. He said, you shall have whatsoever you say. So therefore, I say unto you, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. And when you stand praying, forgive. If you have all against any, that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father which is in heaven forgive your trespasses. And the word of the Lord is blessed. Amen. Let's Give God praise. Hallelujah. If your soul's not anchored in Jesus, you will surely drift away. Drift away, Lord. Drift away, Lord. You will surely drift away. That's one of old school songs. If your soul's not anchored in Jesus, you will surely Drift away if your soul anchored in Jesus, you will surely drift away, drift away, drift away. You will surely drift away if your soul not anchored in Jesus, you will surely. Drift away. Come on, put those sanctified hands together. Let's praise the Lord in here today. Yes, your soul not hanging in Jesus. You will surely. Away. If your soul not hanging in Jesus, you will surely drift away, drift away, drift away. You will surely drift away. If your soul's not hanging in Jesus, you will surely. Away. Oh, victory, victory shall be mine. Victory, victory shall be mine. If I hold my peace at the Lord by the battle, victory, victory shall be mine. It 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 shall be mine. 
It shall be mine. Shall be mine. It shall be mine. It shall be mine. Jesus conquered. So you can just go ahead and just get crunk all the way up, amen. Tired in your body, but not in your soul. I came to praise him. Woo! Oh yeah, we can start some.
y'all just gonna go there. I, 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 ain't gonna, I ain't gonna sit here and not get in it. Hey, somebody help me sing a little bit. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Since I lay my burden down, glory, glory.
wonderful Savior. No way. We magnify you in this place, Lord. Thank you. You're an awesome God. Thank you, Lord. You're a mighty God. Mighty are the works of your hands, Lord. We lift you up in this place, Lord Jesus. Nobody else like you, Lord. You are mighty. Hallelujah. 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 You're worthy, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Worship. Amen. 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 Let's let's bless this offering before we go back in. Amen. Somebody say God is good. Won't you stand to your feet and point your hand towards the basket on this morning? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for standing in for the ushers on today. Amen. Prophet is young. Amen. Listen. Charles, if you will pray, if you will pray, amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you this thank morning, oh God, for your presence in this place, oh God, as we celebrate the King of glory. Even at this time as we give in response to your love towards us, oh God, we thank for those who had to give and had not to give, that you bless them anyhow, Lord God, because of your mercy and your grace and your goodness that's bestowed upon us. And so, God, that debts be canceled, be, bills be paid in full, that we live in the overflow. We thank you to become a reservoir of a blessing, God, to somebody else because you have blessed us, God, because of your loving kindness. And so you, God, today will be glorified, exalted, and lifted up. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Somebody say, get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Woo. Now, taking this thing to the next level. I want you to repeat after me, Lord, Lord enlarge, enlarge my territory. My territory. Lord, Lord enlarge, enlarge my, my, territory. my territory. I want you to take a deep breath and say, Lord, Lord enlarge, enlarge my territory. My territory. My territory. My territory. My territory. question to ask all the believers won't God do it yes he will won't God do it yes he will won't God do it yes he will now make the noise in this place oh, like you God. lost your mind that he did it that he did it hallelujah anybody got any evidence that he did it already he did something in your life that you know that it was a miracle that only God could do it somebody say he did it for me he did it for me he didn't have to do it but he did Hallelujah. He did it, he did it, he did it, he did it, he did it. Thank you, Jesus. Listen. If you would just lift your hands with me. I just want to, I just, I just want to just pray out. I just feel compelled to pray this moment. Father, right now in 
the name of Jesus. Somebody say right now. Right Go ahead. Lord, I declare that the mind is free, the body is free. I declare healing right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you for just being God right now in this place, uh, being a right now God, Lord. Uh, I thank you, God, because now, God, uh, you are healing us right now in the name of Jesus. You are making ways uh, that have not been known to us that we were able to do so God right now we thank you for your healing power being bestowed on us in this place today we thank you God for making a way out of no way we thank you God for being a rock the rock of our salvation yeah yeah we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. For just being God. You're God over cancer. You're God over diabetes. You're God over heart failure. You're God over hallelujah. You're God over the coronavirus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You're God over sickle cells. Yes, Lord. You're God over low and high blood pressure. Yes, Lord. You're God over depression. Yes, Lord. Yes, and oppression. Yes, Lord. You're God all by yourself. You are God. Somebody say, You are God. You are God. You are God. Thank you for being God over our lives. Man, man, man. You are God. You are God. God alone. Thank you, Jesus. You are God, God alone. We give you praise. Oh, we give you praise. You are God. You are God, God alone. We give you praise, Lord. Oh, we give you praise. We give you praise. You are God and God alone. You are God alone. You are God and God alone. Oh, we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Oh, you're God and God alone. You are God alone. Oh, the God and God alone. You are God. We give you praise. We give you the highest praise, Lord. We give you all the praise. You are God. You are God and God alone. You are God alone. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. You are God and God. You are God alone. You are God. You are God. You are God alone. We give you praise. We give you praise, Lord. We give you praise. We say hallelujah. We say hallelujah. We say hallelujah. We say hallelujah. We give you praise. Oh, we give you praise. We give you praise. We say hallelujah. We say hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. We say hallelujah. We give you praise. We give you praise. Hallelujah, Lord. We bless you. We give you praise. 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 We
give you praise. Oh, praise. We give you praise. Hallelujah. We give you praise. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Listen. Rodney got an announcement. I'm going to let him announce something. Amen. 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 Here you go, Rodney. You can get that mic. Mic number 10. Hallelujah. You're about to give birth to something. Hallelujah. I had a talk with her earlier, and there's something inside of her that's about to give birth to. She's about to give birth to something. Hallelujah. I just I just I just need I just need for everybody to just point their hand this way right here. Hallelujah. The anointing is about to erupt. Thank you, Jesus. Lashanda. Lashanda, could you lay your hands on her? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus. Right now, Lord. Do it, Lord. Do it. God, you have your way. Do it, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Cover, Lord, cover, Lord, cover, Lord. Cover her now, Lord. In the name of Jesus, let your blood cover. Let your blood, let your blood cover. Let your blood cover, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. name of Jesus. Demons tremble at your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's the birthing process of an anointing. Let you hear me flow. Let you hear me flow. That anointing. Let you hear me flow. Let you hear me flow. Somebody say push. Push. In the I need all the believers. I need for y'all to be praying because she's pushing something out. A spiritual birth. Set your people free. Let your healing flow. Yes, Lord. Let your healing flow. I didn't think it was going to be an ordinary service. Hallelujah. Let your healing I know we, a lot of us been busy all weekend, but the word. God is speaking. Let your healing flow. God is speaking. Hallelujah. Come flow like a we, we, We're praying for the pushing power. Hallelujah. Push, push. Mend the broken hearted and bind up their wounds. Let your healing flow. Push, push, oh, push, push. push. Let your healing flow, flow like a river. In each of our hearts, break every.
every yoke right now. Break every, every yoke. Chain. Destroy every, every yoke. Set the prisoner free. Let your kids It's working. It's working. It's working. It's working. It's working. It's working. Let your healing flow. It's working. It's working. It's working. We're it's working. waiting on you, Lord. It's working. It's working. It's working. It's working. To relieve the Shekinah glory. It's working. It's working. It's working. Come and feel our life. It's working. Change every heart. He's working, he's working, he's working. Let your healing flow. We need a revival. It's working, it's working, it's working. We need you to move. Come and feel our lives. Yes, Lord. With your glory. From you, Lord. So let your healing flow. Ooh, let it flow. Let it flow. Let your healing flow. Let your healing flow. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let your you hear me flow. Yes, Lord. You said by your stripes we are healed. Let it flow. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Listen. While God is working here, while God is working here, Rodney, say what you want to say. Hey, my birthday coming up. I'm saying my birthday is so to go. I read my Bible every day. God's been blessing me with a lot of things in my life. God's been blessing me with a lot of money and all type of stuff. God's been blessing me with a lot of money and all type of stuff. I have a testimony. Can I say it, Pastor? Go ahead. My testimony, my toes been ran over and all type of stuff. Now I'm Hold healed. it closer. I'm healed. My side is healed. I'm healed. I can move. I can move on my anniversary. I can move. I can dance. I want to shout. Can I shout? Can I shout? On my big... I shout my beautiful queen. I give him the glory. I give him the glory. I give him the glory. He's been good to me. He's a oh, hi -ya. been good to me. You just don't know why I praise God. Pastor, I love you, man. I love you. I love you, too. You taught me the ropes in life. I love you, David. I love you. God is good to me. He's good to me. I could have been dead a long time ago. Car ran over me. Car ran me my side, knocked me down. Could have sued, but I trust God. I trust God. To my queen today. My queen today, my birthday. I got married on my birthday, the best birthday present ever. He said, I won't go. He said, I thought she could have been dead a long time ago. Shot bullets at us. Shot bullets at us. I could have been dead a long time ago. Long time ago. I would pray to God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Four years. Four years I've been married. I love it. Love my queen. Man. Let's give God praise for Rodney. Hallelujah. Rodney. Rodney. Rodney birthday is coming up.
I want you to hear what I'm about to say to you real good. As you was laying down there, hallelujah, and as you were beginning to purge, I heard the Spirit say that your deliverance has to be great because your bondage was great. The enemy held you bondage, and it was a great bondage. The devil had you locked down, tied up, and tangled up. And God said, because of the greatness, the extent of that bondage, this is why you, go, you can't go the way the other folks go. Everything with you and your deliverance is going to be extreme, over the top. It's not going to be normal. It's not going to be average. You are not going to be able to get away with what other folks get away. And God said, I'm finna begin dealing to work with your attitude. God said, I'm about to work with your temperament. I'm about to cause you to be humble and meek. God said, because this is where the enemy has had an advantage over you because of your mouth and because of your temperament. But God said, I'm about to transform. People ain't even going to know who you are. They're going to take a second look at you because the glory of God is going to be all over you. God said he's about to give you a, a Paul experience he's going to have to close your eyes to some things you've been seeing and you've been used to seeing certain things and maybe you got it in your mind that this is the way it's supposed to be but God said not so in this hour I'm going to begin to reveal my glory with you and in you and to you God said to tell you he ain't forgot. He gave you a promise a long time ago. And because the promise haven't came to the past, there's been a spirit of discouragement. But God said, I've not forgotten. I'm going to do everything I said I was going to do. God said, I have not moved an inch. I'm still right where you left me. And God said, my daughter... I'm calling you back. I'm pulling you back. I'm bringing you back. And God said, this time it's going to stick. See, you came in before. There's been times you done came in, but it didn't stick because the enemy, the adversary of your soul was pressing you down. And the ability to, to surrender, God said, said that wasn't your strong that wasn't your strongest point but God said you're going to surrender now lift your hands lift your hands hallelujah oh yeah you're going to surrender now and as prophet Young was saying as we was unlatching your shoes that was a symbolic gesture that God said I'm untying you I'm unstrapping you from the world you ain't got to be attached to it no more you ain't got to run to it. You ain't got to seek it. You ain't got to search for it no more. Because everything you need, you're going to find it in me. You're going to find it in me. God said, I'm about to take you on the journey. And if you believe every word of God, God said, if you ever doubted him before, don't doubt him in this season. This is the greatest season of your life. This is the greatest season of your life. God said, not only am I producing a change in you, but your children, they're going to see the change. And it's going to affect everything in your household. And every spirit that has taken your house by storm, we bind it up in the name of Jesus. Jesus, the strong man in your house because there's some negative energy in your house there's negative energy there but we bind that up we bind that up come on lay hands on her we bind that up in the name of Jesus we bind it up here we bind up the strong man say that you got to go you don't have no power here you gotta go in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, God said you got to decree it and declare it over yourself, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free, come on, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free, I'm 
delivered the evil spirits they leave from him and they go out of your house is clean so right now your house is clean but the demonic attack is strong against you so you better believe the devil is coming back and he coming back with a fury with a force with an alliance with an allegiance with more demonic forces the Bible said they come back Hallelujah. And seven times greater than what they left with. So if you open the door back to the enemy, him and all his family is coming. And the stronghold that you knew before will be even greater than it ever was. So that's why in this season, you got to trust him like never before. When you feel the enemy trying to work with your mouth, Zip it, put a lock on it, put your hand over it, whatever you got to do so that God can have his way in you. And it is so in Jesus' name. Ain't it not strange, my sister, that you came in early today. You came in early today. And then not only did you come in early today, but your hairpiece is red. did it. God did it again. Yes, Lord. Thank 
you, Jesus. Let's give God praise. came with expectations. Now let the church say amen. Listen, I would, I want to speak from uh, the text in the book of Acts, the 19th chapter. and 15 Acts 19 and 15 we, we live in a time today where we can video record something and put it on social media and overnight depending on what it is you can wake up the next morning and it would have went viral somebody say viral and in the text that I'm going to read today I'm going to use for a topic when your name goes viral And here's the thing, the catch is when your name go viral in hell. I can preach 
I can preach hell all day long while I'm here on this land. I can preach to I lose my voice. But if my name is not known in hell, evidently I ain't got no power. <laughs> Hallelujah. I need my name to go viral in hell. I don't need it to go viral on social media. Listen, Acts 15, if you can stand with me, I'm just going to read that. I'm going to emphasize over the rest of it. We've got to understand that this, what's taking place here, it says, bit 15, I'm going to read this verse and then I'm going to pray. It says, and the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know, and Paul I know. But who are ye? <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for what you've already done. I give you praise for this present moment that's about to take place right now. I'm asking that you will fill this room with your presence, that your Holy Ghost may overwhelm your people and take out of them what should not be in this place on today. Hallelujah. May their names be known. Hallelujah. In hell that they are not the one to be messed with. Somebody say, I am not the one today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am not the one to be messed with. God, you have your way right now that your name may be lifted up in this place. In Jesus' name, let the church say amen. When your name goes viral. Ooh, hallelujah. You, 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 it's, it, you, you can't say it's all good when your name ain't viral. You got here... You got, you got the sons, you got this, you got this, the sons of Zebia, a Jewish priest, hallelujah, trying to cast out a demon out of an individual. But here's the thing, when no demons begin to talk back to you, mm, hallelujah, they begin to talk at you. And begin to tell you that you ain't got no power because I don't know who you are. You coming to me to try to cast, it's like Satan trying to cast Satan out. A kingdom divided cannot stand. Hallelujah, because you won't have no power. But when your name is viral in hell, you can say, I, I, I cast you out in the name of Jesus. When your name is viral in hell, uh, you can walk past demon-possessed people uh, and the demon will come running out. Uh, when your name is viral in hell, uh, you can walk past sick people and your shadow, hallelujah, will begin to manifest and heal the sick and the lame. Uh, when your name goes viral in hell. Woo, I came to to speak to some people that's ready to go viral today. I came to speak to a group of people that ain't afraid of the enemy. I came to speak to a group of people that's sick and tired of being tired. I came to speak to somebody, hallelujah, that can stand up and say, I ain't the one. Pastor Charles, if you can do me a favor, you got to pull it up. Read for me 13. Verse 13. I want to show you something. Praise the Lord. Chapter then, 19, verse 13. Then, then certain of the vagabond Jews, exorcists, took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits in the name of the Lord Jesus, saying, we adjure you by Jesus whom Paul preaches. Come on. See, they messed up right there. Come on. 
And there were seven sons of Sceva, mm -hmm. a Jew in it, and chief of the priests, which did so. And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus, I know, Paul, I know, but who are ye? Come on, read, read 16. And the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them and overcame them and prevailed against them so that they fled out of the house naked and wounded. Come on, read 17. And this was known to all the Jews and the Greeks also dwelling in Ephesus and fear fell on them all. And the name of the Lord Jesus was magnified. Come on, somebody give God praise right there. Hallelujah. See, see, the enemy knows who to mess with. He knows who he can mess with. See, even if you under the anointing and the covering of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah, he gets to go through God just to get permission to mess with you. So that if he's messing with you today and you know that you are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ, uh, you know that he had to go through God uh, just to get to me. Because he already know if he didn't go through God uh, that I ain't the one. That I ain't the one. Hallelujah. But because he had to go through God uh, just so he can come and mess with me. Because God knows me best. He knows what's going to break me. He knows what's going to make me. See, because there are so many of us. We are out here perpetrating. Perpetrating. Saying stupid stuff. Speaking stupid stuff. Uh, saying gibberish uh, don't even know God uh, don't even know what God is haven't even read the word uh, can't even speak it uh, can't do nothing uh, but when they try to cast out a I came to talk to people that know in their heart that I ain't the one. Hallelujah. Because those people that are out there trying to perpetrate the fraud uh, don't even know God. Uh, trying to pray over you. Study praying for you. They're praying over you. That, that you may fail. Uh, hallelujah. That God would wipe you out. Uh, but what they don't understand right here. Hallelujah. That I can discern the spirit. Hallelujah. By the spirit. Uh, the enemy knows the spirit by the spirit. Uh, because he recognized uh, that these seven sons uh, had no power. It's like saying where your power at. Where's your God? Uh, who's going to back you up? Uh, who's standing up? behind you. Paul ain't got no power. Oh Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Trying to cast them out. Emphasizing the wrong words. That when I come to pray over you, honey, depending on your situation, I want to plead the blood over your life uh, that God will deliver you right now. Uh, I don't need him to do it later on. Uh, I want him to do it right now. Uh, somebody need to lay hands on their neighbor and say, neighbor, I plead the blood over you right now. Now look, Lane, look, 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 look. Ain't nobody being beat up. Ain't nobody being stripped. Uh, because right now, uh, the devil knows your name. Uh, he knows you're not the one to be messed with. Uh, stand up with your chest out. Uh, make your muscles up. Uh, and give God praise. Uh, because I'm not the one. I 
walk by faith and not by sight. I have the power of the blood covering me. See, there are so many people want to skip the word and begin to bind and cast out devils. But you can't skip the promise. You can't skip the word. Because if you ain't got the word inside of you, you ain't got no power. I need to know where your power at. You study sin. Duh, 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 duh. But there's no power. I need you to get this thing out of me. I need you to help me. When my name goes viral, though he slay me, but yet will I trust him. Hallelujah. If God allowed me to go through the hell that I'm going through right now, I still... Listen, Deacon. I am not the one the one I am not the one I'm blood covered I'm blood covered I'm covered by the blood and because of the blood I'm still standing it's because of the blood I can walk it's because of the blood I can talk I don't need no cape I don't need no shield all I need is the blood be washed in the blood of the I don't know you you come knocking on the wrong door because I don't know you you might as well hit the road Jack I don't know you I know only of Jesus I know only of the blood Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. But who? I need to know who you are. Look, 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 look. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. That before we, got, before we even pray over anybody, we have already got to be prayed over ourselves. <laughs> Because I'm going to tell you something. Because just like the word said. That that spirit. Jump into. Have you ever seen somebody that lost their mind? Huh? Hallelujah. Walking outside with nothing on. Huh? Just lost their minds. Huh? Don't know where they're going. Don't know where they're coming. Something jumped. Something will jump out of them into you. But if you don't have no power to cast that thing out of you. I'm going to tell you something. If you ain't working with no power. That thing will get itself in you. And if you can't detach yourself from it. By pleading the blood over your life. Let that thing know that I am not the one. I'm not the one to be messed with. You jumped in the wrong somebody. Listen, it's been so, so much of this going on that the cops will get a, a, a search warrant and always wind up at the wrong house. Hallelujah. And you, the person be trying to tell them that you got the wrong house where you should be is next door. So I got a thing to tell the devil.
devil that I am not the one. My name may be viral. I'm all around this place. Everybody and everything knows my name. So when I decide to walk through hell, I can't be touched. When I decide to walk through what I overcame, I can't be touched. I say it to people all the time that when you know you delivered from it is when you can go through it and not be tempted by it. That's when you know it don't have no power. Listen, I was standing, I was standing up taking pictures right where we uh, said we do again. Me and my beautiful wife. NC love you over there. Hallelujah. And the wind picked up. Listen, the wind picked up. And the scarf blew down. A red one blew down and wrapped itself around my neck. <laughs> and there was something I was going to say in part of my vows. I kept writing them and putting them down differently. And one word came to my mind before I even said it. I didn't use that one for my wife, my vows. But it was one that I said, I choose you. And I didn't read that one to you. But God, when that scarf came down, God said, I choose you. It unwrapped itself and it came down and went over my neck. I mean, I, I, God said, I choose you. And I was like, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Somebody say, you messing with the wrong person. My name is known in hell. Hallelujah. Listen, I want to show you something. Stand up, LaShawn, but remain stand up, Deacon. Lane, stand up. Both lanes, both prophetess, remain standing. Vivian, stand up, stand up, stand up. I want to show you something. I want to show y'all something real quick. I know Anthony's playing the piano, but if Jeff won't play, stand. Stand. I want to show you something. Charles. Stand. I don't know if you know it already, Maine. You got a deeper calling on you. Listen to that call in your spirit. Listen. We are all standing, the ones that are standing, the names that are called that are standing right now. I want to I want to show you something right now. That the forces of evil. Pastor Terry's watching. Twins watching. Y'all standing. If you can. Listen, I want to show you something that the power of God, that once you have accepted what God called you to, he put your name on a list or not to be messed with. I want to show you something right here. And that every time we go through something as leaders, we have to know that it was by divine order. Divine order from God. And the thing is that we have to know, Deacon Davis, is that 
greater is he that is in us than he that's in the world. And the thing is, what I love about your spirit, Deacon Davis, is the Lord didn't give, I mean, the world didn't give it and the world can't take it away. And we can say that with all of ourselves and that that a, a, as leaders we are positioned all over the place. You and your mother, y'all both y'all go y'all go places I ain't been yet. And Charles, he's working that spot over there. He's in in, in the lanes out there on Appleton somewhere. Hallelujah. Y'all right across Capitol. I don't know where all y'all live at, but each one of y'all, your houses, spiritually and mentally, your kids, your family, as a leader, we're not vulnerable. We are valuable. You get that? You get that? You get that? You get that? So, the enemy is like any, the enemy is like a lion. But he's not the lion of Judah. I, my, I take him out of the, the emphasis of a lion. I give him hyena. Those creatures, any wild animal, they don't, when they knock you down, they go for the jungle. Because what they know is that I need to get to the head to stop them from moving. You see what I'm saying? So anything, any, any good thing that's happening in your life, any good thing that's happening in your life, the enemy wants to decapitate it. Decapitate it. And if you're connected to leadership, and because you are connected to leadership in the ministry, this is go just in ministers and Leadership are watching this even also through Facebook. Those that are connected to leadership need to pray for what? Leadership. And the reason why I say that is because of this right here. Is that when you pray for leadership, your leadership, what happens is when we get strength, When we get strengthened, y'all get strengthened. And when the leadership in the house gets strengthened, everybody in the house gets strengthened. So I need everybody to stand to their feet. Hallelujah. Because when the leadership is standing strong, hallelujah, everybody stand. Hallelujah. Prophet is Lane, I know. Lane, I know. Minister Emmy, I know. Joe, I know. Hallelujah, boss. Deacon Davis, Davis, I know. Hallelujah. I know them. But who are you? So, he goes on. Is that it may not look like I'm known in any kind of way. I don't need for you to recognize me as being popular. If I never go physically viral, I'm spiritually known. I'm spiritually known. <laughs> If, if I don't, if everybody in the world don't know my name, I, I won't want to, I, I want those demons to know that I am not the one. So, so, so that when, when leadership is strong and we're praying for one another, and not trying to pull one another down. 
our homes are strong. I'm going to tell you, our homes are strong. And when our homes become strong, guess what? Our children are strong. So, I'm saying all this and this word, this word came to me at the last moment. Is that your name you may not have 10,000 friends. Some of us probably don't got a thousand friends or just a few friends. It don't matter to me. But as long as hell knows who I am and whose I is, who I belong to, and when hell, when those demonic spirits look at you, they'll see that you're blood covered. They'll see that you're covered by the blood. They'll see that you are not the one to be messed with. So that when, when, when trouble comes your way, it had to pause for, for a moment. Y'all can sit down. It has to pause for a moment. So while it's on the way, it pauses. It has to go back and get permission say you know what if you release him to me I'll get him to reject you but because God knows your ending in your beginning God said God already knew that cancer was going to come and try to get an assignment hallelujah but God said no. That you can touch his body, but you can't touch his life. Hallelujah. God said no. You can touch her body, but you can't touch her life. God said no. You can put your hands on them, but you can't take them because they belong to me. Man. I'm viral and I didn't even know it see some of y'all don't even know how how important you are and how powerful you are because the enemy sought to take you out this morning they started plotting assignments on your life they started plotting assignments on your children they started planning against you hallelujah but God somebody say but God I, I, I'm, 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 I'm more I'm more of the type of pastor that I, I'm a, I visualize things when I'm up here just like things just begin to unfold right in my presence so if your name is on a list not to be messed with then I picture the enemy saying we got to check the list because I'm not sure <laughs> Prophet is Lane, they had to check the list because they weren't sure. Lane, they had to check the list because they weren't sure. Hallelujah. But in spite of all of that, hallelujah, God had your name not only written in the book of life. Hallelujah. But he had your name written on a special list that these are the ones that you can't even mess with. These are the ones that are covered by the blood. These are the ones that carry the Holy Ghost in their arsenal. No, these are the ones that when they call my name, uh, my power falls in their presence. These are the ones, hallelujah, when they praise me, I inhabit their presence. Uh, when they call on my name, my power falls. When they call on my name, healing falls. Uh, when they call on my name, the deliverance falls. Man, he said, Paul, he said, Jesus, I know, and Paul, I know, but
But who are ye? And not that he didn't know Peter, John, and Matthew, and all the disciples, but because he called Paul's name, he had to let them sons know that I know Paul and I know Jesus but I don't know you and because they had no power to cause them to submit to him them he jumped out and into them and stripped them The enemy said, my plan was to get inside of you and drive you crazy from the inside out so that I can take from you who God created you to be. And because they couldn't do it, you can say to yourself, I'm still here. Somebody give the Lord a praise in this place. Everybody standing, we're finna get ready to be dismissed, amen. I just want to share something with y'all. In the world. Before I dismiss y'all, this is my queen. Amen. And we'll be we'll be leaving out of town tomorrow. And we'll be going down to Miami to enjoy our very first honeymoon. Thirty years overdue. Somebody say thirty years overdue. Amen. 30 years overdue. <clears throat> Listen, I can't end the service without offering you guys the opportunity to know the Lord as your Lord and Savior. Lift your hands in this place. I want you to repeat after me, Lord. Forgive me. Come into my heart and into my life and be my Lord and Savior. I thank you for giving me another chance. In Jesus' name, thank God. Amen. Now I want you to lay hands on where it hurts. Sir. Lay hands on where it hurts. Sir. Lay hands on your pain. You watching via Facebook Live, lay your hands on yourself. <clears throat> if your home is in trouble, if your house is in trouble, lay your hands on your house. If you're on a verge of losing anything, you lay your hands on that. Lay your mind on it if you're here. I'm going to declare some things. Now, Father, right now, shut it up, shut it up. I declare that no weapon that's formed against us shall be able to prosper. Every tongue that rises against us in judgment, God, you said you will condemn. I declare that your healing power is taking place right now. Covered by the blood. I declare that our homes are safe. I declare that we are made whole right now in the name of Jesus. Our children are being blessed right now. I declare that every notice is being reversed right now. I declare 
that there's going to be a not guilty verdict in the courtroom. I declare that the bank is going to give you every penny you need to buy the house. I declare that you're going to have every dollar you need to start that business. I declare that the favor of God has now arrived into your life. I declare that the purpose has now come to present to provide to protect to help you prevail over for every obstacle, I declare that you will not be a wreck, but you will be healed. I declare that a deeper understanding has come your way. I declare that you are being filled today. I declare in the name of Jesus that every need is being met from the crowns of your head to the soles of your feet. In the name of Jesus. Somebody, if you receive that, give God praise right now. No. Hallelujah. Bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. For those of you that are watching via Facebook Live, I want to thank you for joining in. Thank all of you for giving through Giveify and using those uh, uh, tools to help the ministry grow. Amen. And see you next week, Sunday. God bless you. Now may the grace of God, this is for all of us, now may the grace of God and the sweet communion the spirit of the Holy Ghost rest room the Bible with each of us until we meet again. Let the church say, Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, pray for me and I'll pray for you.